The online gaming industry is one of the most rapidly growing industry of the country and has gained significant advantages during COVID-19 lockdown. Though the industry is growing significantly, it is still facing challenges both on a regulatory and taxation front, especially in direct tax. There are two main challenges that the industry faces since last several years on the GST front. One is the GST rate applicable and the second, the value on which the GST rate applies. In fact, a GORM has been constituted to deal with these issues and come back with their feedback. Currently, the industry is paying GST rate at two different rates. One is the rate of 18% on the game of skill and the second is the rate of 28% on the game of chance. However, the law per se does not define what a game of skill or a game of chance is and it is subject to interpretation both from the GST authority as well as the industry players. This is the first issue that needs to be addressed by the government. The second issue is the value on which GST is applicable. Any online gaming company recovers two kinds of money from a player of the game. One is the game playing fee or the entry fee or the rack rate or whichever way you call it and the second is the prize money. The revenue with which the online gaming company records is the rack rate or the game playing fee and that ideally should be subject to GST. The prize money pool, the prize money actually gets added to the prize money pool which is held as a custodian by the online gaming company and is eventually distributed to the winners of the game. This is not actually which is a revenue for the online gaming company and should not be subject to GST. However, there are still issues surrounding these, this aspect of uh, the industry even today. While the group of ministers did come, back, come with a report to the GST council on both these issues, the GST council advised them to further deliberate on this matter and give their final report. While the ministers are still deliberating on this issue, the industry is being issued notices by the GST authorities with huge GST demands. In fact, the issues were not addressed in the last GST council meeting, which was held in mid of December as well. It is imperative that a conclusion or a clarification is issued by the government on both these aspects so that the industry is not faced with un unwarranted litigation, which is like a hanging sword as we know it. We look forward to a rational decision by the government on both these issues.